I saw Rihanna, she's always like, hi, hi, hi. Okay, no, let me, let me start over. Hi, I'm Tiffany Young. I am here to cover my beauty routine with you. Literally cover all this with you. I recently just went blonde. Ooh, four days in a row, six hours each to get this mother of dragons blonde. Most famous thing about K-Beauty would probably be face masks. My favorite product would be this right now. You get a brush and the product and what you do is you peel this back and then you put the activator in. And what you do is you shake it, you shake it. Ooh, let's see. And then you just paint it on your face. So you leave this on. Like already, I feel like my eyes are being lifted. As you can see, it's completely, well, almost dry. Okay, now ready to wash. I'm born, I'm born, I'm born, I'm born, I'm born again, again. <laughs> Sorry. But literally, this is what's so amazing about it. It is tight as a drum. That's why I said I'm born, I'm singing born again. Okay, this is a Firming Energy Serum Fermented Soybean. Taeyong Padu. This is also a very cool Korean brand, K-beauty brand. And what I liked about this one is that you can kind of do this and there's a cooling effect so it gets rid of all your puffiness. I think using a base is very, very important. Pour this out like this. The Glow On Oil Volume Base. I mix them together like that. And then you make sure you apply evenly. And what's important when you're putting this, putting product on your face is that you're never, you're never like aggressively pulling your face down. It's always kind of soaked in and lifted upwards. This is my favorite foundation. And make sure it's not like caked on. It's very, very evenly sprawled out. It's one very thin layer and I'm using a beauty blender and I use it wet because I feel like it gets it in more evenly and well seeped into your skin versus it just kind of laying on your face. I went to Korea to be a K-pop star at 15 and I started with Girls' Generation when I was 17. So I started putting on makeup at 17 and I also had amazing people who were putting it on for me. Oh my gosh, I need something on my lips. This is something I just like to use because it's about building this foundation before you start creating on it. It's a Power Plump Lip Balm. It looks like your natural lips, lip color. So the MLBB. My lips felt better. Is that a Korean thing? I'm sorry, all my products are so messy, but you get it. It works. I go under the eye. Trust me, I know I look like I'm doing whatever, but I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. The next thing I would use to set is this powder. Oh, this is my favorite. It's, it smells so good and it sets in very well. I don't like too much powder. I just pat it in where you might get creases over the day. And as you can see, I'm not like rubbing against the skin. Just make sure you get a little and then just pat into. I will go straight into my brows. They are all Asian beauty products as well. I know, everyone's like, you really use all these for your brows? Yes. And for me, I'm not into like, it's a trend in Korea where it's just like straight brows. And then I'm not into the overarched brows. I'm into what fits and frames your face. Kini brown pencil, kipun palm espresso. That means dark night espresso, midnight espresso. I mean, it makes sense in Korean, but you know what I mean. So what I do, I don't really draw above. I draw, I fill in from the bottom. I know some ladies, you can relate to me. There's all these empty spots. And I pull out a little longer and make sure Start drawing in the front. Mm. And this pencil, the Shimura in Hard Nine. And 
these empty spots, you can just draw it in. But I do round up my arches. Brush it out a little. And then also comes to this eyebrow cut. Some people are asking me why my eyebrows are dark and I'm a blonde. But I kind of did that on purpose. I feel like I look like a cartoon character when I have like matching brows. I have a more narrow but longer face and I want to shorten the planes here because I want to create the, the definition more towards the center of my face. I would create a gradient around my cheeks and make the color pop more in the center. Let me just show you. <laughs> So I'm gonna use this. It's a little messy because this one definitely is one of my favorites. And what I do is go right below the pupil and in the center, pat it in here. And next comes highlighter. This is my favorite one. It almost looks like Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. So I only put it on arch. And notice how I'm not going like this. I just want a thin, subtle line. And then when I do it here, I just... Actually, I want more shine today. And don't forget your cupid's bow. And the occasional... Now it's very, very important to choose your bronzer. Um, oftentimes I use a matte one just so it blends easily. But one of my personal favorites is this one. It's called the Candlelight Glow. Oh yeah, I can tell now. It's not about here, ladies. It's about right here. And it creates that definition between your your jawline and your neck. So I would make a layer. It's almost like a rainbow. And this is a shade darker. Sometimes apply it with an angular brush, almost kind of like an eyeliner. When I'm on stage, I definitely use gel eyeliner, but on a much more laid back kind of day, I would fill in my lines with a darker brown. Another trick we do is we fill in right here. I like to curl my eyelashes all the time. That's why I probably get a lift every now and then. What's important is that it's centered. Most people just grab it like this, as you can see, but it needs to be tilted toward the center. And voila. There we go. This is a regular wand, and this is the micro wand. What's important, I feel like, is that you start from the base and you fan it out. The real mascara. And then I like to put this one on too. Start from the root bottom lashes as well but I think this is absolutely life-changing and now the lips oh, I'm so excited every time I hear lips I'm excited to go on tour this is a dustier brick rose I don't just put a full lip on I think it's important to blot the center the darkest and then start pat stamping it out it's a much more natural look versus like, ooh, she's wearing makeup. You know, they say, do you see the face or do you see the makeup? And there we have this rosy lips on lips look. Ooh. Thank you for watching. 